Hey everybody, it is Ed. Today's video, wanted to talk a little bit about Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs and the Elvis Presley releases that they have done over the years. Now, from what I understand, I believe it came out in 1982 and their very first pressing that they did for Elvis was this, which is from Elvis in Memphis. And uh, just within the past couple of weeks, this has actually come full circle and I'll show you what I mean. All right, but again, we have original master recording and it says on the back, let me read this to you, half speed production and mastering by original mastering works, specially plated and pressed on high definition super vinyl by Victor Company of Japan Limited. Special static free dust free inner sleeve, special heavy duty protective packaging. Source the original stereo master tape. Mastered with the autophone cutting system, manufactured and distributed by MFSL Inc. Chatsworth, California 91311, under license from RCA Records, all rights reserved. Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. It, but it does not tell us the year on here so but I, again i believe this one came out in 1982 and this one actually still happens to be factory sealed so that's that all right then the next one that came out and this came out in if i remember correctly i want to say around 1991 again i could be wrong i don't know if it gives the year on here i think it just says 1970 for when the original album was released. So, but regardless, we have, that's the way it is. This one was pressed in Japan. It says so on the bottom of the disc. Right, but here is what the disc looks like. This one had a nice little fancy thing where you can see the disc is lifted off and it comes off nicely. Gold plating on the bottom. Some discoloration, but I assure you it makes no difference in the play, as I do play this one quite frequently, and I think the sound on this is actually quite amazing. All right, but great album from 1970. They should uh, follow this up with the vinyl, but for some reason, they never did. All right, and then uh, more recent release, now we have the Super Audio CD of Blue Hawaii. And this, again, is a recent release. And this was, was supposed to be limited edition of 3,000. However, uh, you will see I have 003, what is that, 3173. So, yeah, they must have had some sort of production glitch when they were doing the covers. And a lot of numbers may have gotten destroyed. So they may have had to overproduce. Not overproduce, but in other words, go past 3,000 to make up the 3,000. So uh, it looks like at least 173 covers were potentially destroyed. All right. Then from there, we have the double LP release of that same album from the Super Audio CD. Now on LP, double LP, 45 RPM. So one album broken into two LPs, about three songs per side. And here you can see it is the analog master to DSD back to analog. All right, and this one has been opened, so the albums are out of the sleeve. And beautiful, beautiful vinyl. All right, and then last but not least, we come full circle to the latest release, which is another pressing. Uh, from Elvis and Memphis. They also released this on Super Audio CD as well, but I did not get that as of yet. Most likely we'll be picking it up. But as of right now, we have the 2LP 45 RPM Ultra Disc One Step Pressing by Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. Again, this was just released within the past, what, week or so. And uh, this is also limited edition of 10,000. And I have number 002219. And yes, yeah, so again, this is a double LP set. And this is actually really nice. It's deluxe. Here is with the hype sticker had on it. And 
It comes with a nice reproduction photo like the original album had when it was originally released. And then it comes with a reproduction of the cover, the original cover with the original back. But it's just a flat. And then it tells us about this one-step ultra disc process with that gold ink. See that shiny gold reflective ink? Very fancy. And then we have the two LPs, LP1 and LP2 on 45 RPM with the added bonus track of In The Ghetto. And the sound on this is really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, I have some pressing issues. Both albums seem to be slightly off center and there are some issues with um, some discoloration on the discs that tend to have an effect on the play, even after cleaning. So I actually sent an email this morning to Mobile Fidelity, and I'm hoping that within the next uh, couple of days, I will hear back from them to see if I can replace. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I misplaced my packing slip, but um, I, you know, I still have my order number and everything that through the email, so I'm, I'm hoping that won't be an issue, but I let them know. We'll see what happens. All right, but I'm hoping to uh, send the latest release that I just showed back for a replacement. So, like I said, let, let's see what happens. I'm going to hope for the best. Uh, but otherwise, other than a little, um, you know, wave of the needle and, and, and a little ooh, bump and surf and a little here and there, and that surface noise um, where the discoloration is, otherwise, I thought it sounded really, really good. And... I think these recordings actually do sound really, really good. The Blue Hawaii one, even though um, it's not an album that I usually go to, I did listen to it, and the, the, the sonics on this, the sound quality was superb, spectacular. All right, and again, um, same thing with That's The Way It Is. I mean, I just, I, I, this is one of my go-to CDs when I want to listen to this album, so... This has been around, like I said, I want to say since about 91, 1992. Uh, I remember getting this in Limbrook at Ray Reed, but yep, there you have it. All right, everybody, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any of these, all of these, your opinion on the sound quality, all that good stuff. All right, but I do appreciate you watching. Good to yourselves. Good to each other. Take care, everybody.